Banawari Palace was originally the residence of Princess Banawari Razmi. She was murdered by her gardener 53 years ago. The building was passed on to her descendants and later sold to a series of owners. Finally, it became Saint Maria Convent, the setting of our story. Another story again. Damn it, must ask. Who was that? Pengfa. Oh, the new girl, my sir. Her name's Mon. Mademoiselle Aditi. Anything to say? It wasn't me. It's you. The whole room heard it was you, right? Yes, it's her. Mom was screaming. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. floor. Come in. She doesn't get better? Meningitis? That's too bad. I pray every day for a miracle, but there's no miracle. You have to understand. I wouldn't have been so strict in trivial matters if it weren't for the fact that your aunt left you in my care when she got sick. So then, please do not disappoint her. You can go now. It wasn't me. No! I said no! 
Why keep bothering me? I said no. Damn it. I said no. Mm, I don't want fish. Peg Ba. Here she comes. Ugh, you're such a pest. Beat it. Get away from me. Watch the crazy bitch catch a frog. A frog indeed. Big and green. Bitch. Mun. Can I sit with you? Yuck, what are you eating? Ew, so gross. Ew, shit, I have that as well. Bummer. When I was a child, my mother made me this every morning. I think my head has more mashed potatoes than it has brains in it. <laughs> she thinks she's so pretty. What a dick-chasing horror. You know what? I heard gossip from her old schoolmates. They confirmed she's a real slut. Her dad's super rich. The bitch is spoiled. She slept around with a lot of boys. Mm. When school's out, I went to Disneyland. Have you ever been to Disneyland? Hollywood, too. I no saw a whole she lot of movie friends, stars and celebrities while I was there. The old guy with long white hair. The one in Harry Potter. What's his name? Oh, I know. Gandalf. Yes, yes, it's Gandalf. Gandalf my ass. That's Lord of the Rings. Wow, is it really that good? You eat like a pig. I said no. Shut up and get lost. Mon, you need a ride? My name's Aditi, but everyone calls me Mon. From the day my parents died 12 years ago, I began to feel that death always hovered around me. Silence has been my best friend since. I knew it better than anyone else. Silence has many levels. The silence that lets you hear the leaves ruffle. Or insects flutter their wings. The ticking of the clock. The beating of your heart. And the silence of your own thought. Hi, Mon. You're here. No, I'm not. I got a bag of cookies for you. Almond cookies. I saw it freshly baked this morning after I finished my shift. I remembered you like almonds, so... Dr. No. Excuse me. I gotta go pee. Be right back. Uh... But the deepest silence... is the silence so complete that you can hear the spirit talking to you. You're here? Still following me? Uh. 
I've come for your answer. What answer? I already said no. I already said no! Please, only you can help me. Ugh, you're such a pest! If you don't help me, I'll keep following you. Ugh, you're such a pest! Watch the crazy bitch catch a frog. Watch out! Step over! Back here! Is it really that good? You eat like a pig! Please, only you can help me. I said no! Shut up and get lost! Who are you? How did you get in? I was a student here a long time ago. No way. This is a convent school. Thirty years ago, it was a male-only business college. Oh. I see. So, what's your name? Just call me Senior. Senior? Fine. What do you want, Senior? I need your help. That was the first time I met the mysterious Senior. I didn't know why he told me about the murder in the Banawadi building 50 years ago. Gardner was sentenced to death for a crime he didn't commit. His ghost keeps coming back to demand justice. If the real murderer is still out there, he will keep haunting this place forever. Even the dead will demand justice. Why are the dead asking the living to help? I think ghosts know everything. No, only what is left of their memories when they're alive. Some of the memories are lost. And sometimes we don't even remember how we died. Just leave me alone, Mon. I'm such a slut. I'm a bitch. A spoiled child. I'd sleep with any man. I'm a whore. A skank. A shameless hooker. When you finish hooker. punishing yourself, tell me, alright? <laughs> no, wait! I've just finished. Here. Take this back. You can keep it. I don't need it. They called me a slut. Because I get close to Master Roddy. The new chemistry teacher. Do you know him? Well, when I got good marks, they spread a rumor. 
that I slept with a teacher for good grades. Oh my God! What should I do? Oh God, I'm going crazy! It's terrible! Aunt, your mom's dead. Am I right? Yeah. How do you know? Well, five years ago she hanged herself to get back at my father for having a mistress. Then my dad married his lover and they moved to the U.S. <sighs> hey, can I ask you something? Why is your nickname Mon? When you were a baby, were you chubby like Dorymon? I don't really know. My best guess is Mon is from salmon. Oh, so you like salmon, huh? No, I don't eat fish. Oh. What about your aunt? A short for giant? Yeah. When I was a kid, I was so big, my mom called me giant. Growing up, I was so embarrassed about my height, so I shortened it to aunt. Isn't that cute? Cute as hell. Ow. Honestly, I have a huge crush on Master Roddy. I think he likes me too. Let me show you something. Ta-da! He gave me this on Valentine's Day. Lovely, isn't it? Aunt, to be honest, I have a bad feeling about him. Hey, don't say that about my boyfriend. Oh, you're jealous, aren't you? Damn it. Why in the hell are they making that noise? Hey. Hey, Mon. They say that dogs howl when they see ghosts. Aunt, do you know dogs have such shitty eyesight? But they have a good nose. So dogs, they can't see ghosts. They can smell them, though. How do you know that? From a past life? Huh? Huh? <laughs> no. But I can smell ghosts too. Hey, I scare easily. I don't. It's a secret I've never told anyone before. When I was four, I survived the car crash that killed my parents. Since then, I can smell dead people. Just by sniffing at the things they touched. Right now, I can smell your mother. What? That's bullshit. Lavender. Cool, but sad. Hey. That's my mom's favorite perfume. How do you know that? Don't fool around with that man. Your mom asked me to tell you. Dans une 
ancienne maison de Paris qui a été couverte de vigne. So you agree to help? So, you just played hard to get. No, 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 no. Crazy. Who was that? You've always wanted to help me. <laughs> Admit it. You know it, so why did you ask? Aditi! You want to test me? So hot-headed. If you were my sister, I'd smack your head. Go on. I dare you. Mademoiselle Aditi! So, we're partners now, right? Partners in what? Oh, uh, detective partners. To investigate the case, I need an assistant. Oh, so I'm your hands and feet, huh? Hey, come on. I've come from a different period. I don't know what's going on now. Like that, uh, flip-flop TV you have. I've never saw it before. Flip-flop TV? <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's called a notebook. Anyway, aren't you afraid someone will see you walking around like this? You're talking to me now, and you can't see me. So, don't be paranoid. Why are you so sure? The people who can see me are only those who are about to die. Once I decided to help Senior, I started digging for information. The murder took place at night. Princess Bana Wadi was struck by a hard object at the back of her head. The impact broke the back part of her skull. Her body fell into the pool. The police found a blood-stained shovel, which led to the arrest of the suspect Jeet, the long-serving gardener. They searched his house and found a stash of jewelry which belonged to the princess. The court ruled that the defendant's argument didn't add up. Jeet was sentenced to death by firing squad. I found that there were three people involved with the case. First is the princess's doctor, Dr. Sonner. He was the one who found her body in the pool. He's still alive today. The second is Mr. Profan, the lawyer who was in charge of her will. He died five years ago. The third one is Miss Warnart, the princess's former secretary. She was fired for embezzlement and disappeared shortly before the murder. Anyway, how did you get in here? You would just walk through the walls like in ghost movies? When I was a student, there was no washroom here. Just a balcony. Wait a sec. I don't get it. People believe that spirits can walk through walls, but that's not true. We can touch only the things or places that existed when we were still alive. When you see a spirit walk through a wall, that's because in the past, there was no wall there. So the spirit can walk through it. But if there was a wall there, and now it becomes a door, then the spirit can't go through it. This is why I need your help. Get it now? Now you're right here. 
aren't you? You can smell me? Mm-hmm. Don't you want to know how I look? I do. I have a mental image of you. What's it like? Well, you're good looking, tall, and pretentious. <laughs> you can tell that much from the smell? Senior, do you think we can touch? In theory, no, because when I was alive, you didn't exist. Is that so? Follow me, please. Where are we going? The crime scene. Thirty years ago, when I was a student, the pool was still here. But it was a forbidden area. When the place turned into a convent school, they filled up the pool and turned it into a cemetery. Where you're standing was the edge of the pool. It's about 10 meters wide, approximately. Where? Left or right? Left. Now, walk straight ahead. Right there. That's where the body was found. Can you see uh, or smell anything? I smell blood mixed with the smell of hatred. Wait. There's... something else. The smell of gunpowder swirling in the air from the past. Unlikely. In the case, Father, wasn't any mention of any gun. The murder weapon was a shovel hidden near the pool. There was blood on it. It matched the blood type of the victim. There was no DNA test back then. D-N-A? Hi, Mon! Mon! Uh, here, what you wanted me to find? I had to dig into old hospital registrations. My eyes almost popped out of my sockets. The filing was a real mess. Everything was done manually back then. Thank you, Dr. No. Uh, instead of a thank you, let me take you to dinner, please? Do you believe in ghosts? Nah, no way. That's baloney. There's no such thing. <laughs> ah! Ah, what was that? Why'd you push me? You have to go in by yourself. In my time, this place was a swamp. Excuse me, are you Dr. Sonner? I'd like to ask you about the murder of Princess Banawadi. <clears throat> Who are you? How did you get in here? 
What the hell do you want? I want to ask you about Baby Dang. What? Baby Dang was an orphan whose mother died in the hospital where I used to work. The princess took pity on her and adopted her as a niece. When she was 12 years old, Baby Dang ran away and disappeared without a trace. <clears throat> you know Mr. Furfan, right? Yeah. That backstabbing lawyer? Of course I knew him. I knew him. More than anyone else did. And I'll never forget him until my last breath. <laughs> I heard that alcoholic <laughs> died of died of liver disease. <laughs> Serves him right. <laughs> Karma caught up with him. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you learn about Baby Dang? I found in the case file that at the time of the murder she was just six. Eyewitnesses testified that she was sleeping in a room. The name sounds familiar. I must have heard it before. Anyway, how did you get into his house? Just walk through walls like in ghost movies? <sighs> no. He left the back door open like an invitation. A buffalo could have waltzed in. She's sniffing the wall. Freaking nuts! So your mother is a bitch! Bow wow! <laughs> I smelled rage and vengeance. I could tell it was a female spirit that's related to someone in the building. A lot has changed here. Nothing is the same as I remember it. See that abandoned room? It used to be a delivery room. You've been here a long time. Um... Seen something unusual? Oh, so often that it stopped being unusual. Do you see that room over there? I used to see the ghost of a pregnant nurse walking in there every night, right past midnight. <laughs> Dr. Sonner used to work as an obstetrician here. The ghost of a pregnant nurse could be another piece in the puzzle. Or maybe she's the mysterious spirit in the school wall. But no one in the Banawadi Palace fits the description. The only possibility, I think, is... Miss Warnart. Oh! I also found out that Mr. Prathan had a wife, named Weepa. She's still alive. We should go talk to her. Why is a little brat asking about something that happened ages ago? What for? Go away! Not working? A little brat, huh?
Are you certain? Does he know? I showed him the test result. He said... I was lying. Master Roddy. Can we talk? HCG is a hormone found in some types of drugs. Mix it with urine and put a drop in a pregnancy test, and you get the positive result. It's a cheap trick. She can't fool a chemistry teacher. Will you take her to the hospital for another test? Now why would I do that? I have nothing to do with this. It's public knowledge that, uh, your friend is, well... Is what? Uh, well, she sleeps around with lots of men. Including you. So? What can I do? She came on to me. You're a jerk. I'll go to the police. She's a minor. Uh, 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 uh. No, no. That's not very smart. What if... These photos here got onto social media. Wouldn't that be awful? Master! Delete this. I beg you, please. Oh, sure. But it depends... on what I'll get in return. Hmm? Deal? Ow, come on, that really hurts. What are you doing? Where are you taking me? The hospital. You must have another test. No, I'm embarrassed. Aunt, did you lie to me? No, I swear to God I didn't. Uh Uh-huh, that's it. Don't talk to me ever again. You're no longer my friend. Come back, Mon, wait! No, don't leave me! (laughs) Mon! I need to talk to you. Please talk to me. Mon. Mon. Um, it's me again. May I ask you something, if you don't mind? I just want to ask... I... Um... Dr. Sonner already told me everything. He said he'd tell the truth and expose what you did. That son of a bitch is still alive. What has he told you? You want me to say it right here? Come in. My husband had absolutely nothing to do with the princess's death. Even though he was named the executor of the will, that asshole died penniless. He left me nothing. 
I actually had to pay off the mortgage for I'll this house all you keep by to myself. Her. It all happened a long time ago. I don't want to dig it up. <sighs> now tell me, what fiction did that quack tell you? Weepa already told me everything she knows. <laughs> don't listen to that drunken bitch. Oh, she's no different from her deceitful husband. Dumb woman. She didn't even know that Profan had been cheating on her. Cheating on her? Oh, yeah. With that beautiful secretary of his. Actually, I had always suspected that that Profan killed his secretary, Warnart, as a cover-up. On the day Warnart disappeared, I found her bracelet on the floor in the library. Profan looked so nervous that day. I also noticed cement powder on his elbows and shirt sleeves. Back then, everyone knew that the princess fancied her doctor. But there was an issue with age and status. So they couldn't get married. She was a princess. And that quack was a lowborn commoner. The royals would never allow it. So they secretly had an affair. So then they were lovers? Whatever you call it. But in my time, it was adultery. One day, Dr. Sana took a baby girl from the hospital, told the princess she was an orphan whose mother died during childbirth. Stand this anymore. 
Get out of here. Get out. Both of you. Get out. I found another will. It names Dr. Sonner, the executor of the estate. But it doesn't have the princess's signature. In the authentic will, Profan was the executor. In that case, now Mr. Profan has become my primary suspect. Why? Well, you see, if Dr. Sonner has told us the truth, then Profan must have been such an evil man. He killed his own lover in cold blood. And so, would he kill his own boss to steal her wealth? Oh, well, I, I have to go now. Uh, oh, where are you going? I have a date. Great horse! Ah! Ah! Get her! 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 So you're going to stare at me until we get the check? What about the thing I asked you? That thing? Oh, right. I did some research. Take a look at this. Sodium thiopental. It's a type of barbiturate that can cause a sudden loss of consciousness if used in modest amounts. It will make you feel confused and then do whatever you're told to do, like being hypnotized. Thank you so much for having dinner with me. <laughs> Come to think of it, we really do have a lot in common. Your nickname, Mon, must come from the cartoon Toraemon. My name's Mono, and I used to wear thick glasses, so my friends call me Nobita. Doraemon? Nobita. Doraemon Nobita. You know what? Same cartoon! Like fate. Don't you think, huh? You agree? Thanks for your help, Doc. I have to go. Actually, my nickname is short for Demon. See you later, Doc. You're following me again? You want to know whom I just met with? No. I'm just wandering the streets I used to walk. This photo studio has been here since my time. You like old photographs? Hmm. Yes. I always stop here to take a look. Me too. I've always thought that a photo studio is where the good memories of the past generations remain alive. Some in these pictures no longer have the smile they once had. Some became nothing but ashes. But here, they're preserved in time and eternity. That's my parents' wedding picture. What a coincidence! Senior. How did you do that? It was cool. Did what? Making the light flicker at the restaurant. Um... Uh, I don't know. It's energy. Sort of. Whoa. You're the real X-Men. Don't
似神秘面具。Thanks for walking me back. You came back by yourself. I just followed you. We had a pleasant evening. It'd be even better if I could see you. Mon, let's take a selfie. Your face is a complete mess, and you want a selfie? Hey, why do you always make the same dead face? Like you can't shit. Better die than do your stupid girly pose. Mon, I'm sorry. We're still friends, right? You're a real piece of work. I really am in love with him. You can call it true love. Don't throw up yet, Mon. I dream of spending my life with him, like husband Aunt, and wife. You really need to stay away from him, okay? That man is dangerous. How do you know that? I smell something fishy. You really hate him, don't you? What about your guy? Hmm. 
What guy? I don't have one. Don't play dumb with me. The day when Monsieur Audrey punished you, I saw a guy sitting next to you. He was really cute. Who is he? Aunt. What did you just say? You saw him? Your boyfriend you never told me about. <laughs> When you were alive, you treated me like dirt. You never cared about me. But when you were sick and dying, you came crawling back. What a prick of a husband. Oh my god! Doctor! Doctor? Wake up! Doctor, don't die! Damn it! Wake up! Don't die! Heart disease. I could drop dead at any day. Thank you. Thank you for saving my life. Actually, I have a few questions. But let's wait until you get better. Uh, just ask. I'll tell you what you want to know. The princess originally named you the executor of her will. But after she died, Mr. Profond's name was... was in the will instead of your name. Yes, Profond. He switched the wills. He wanted... He wanted to... have everything for himself. I... I never believed that... that baby day just disappeared. Uh, I'm... I'm sure that... Profond... got rid of her... somehow. I'm sure of it. What? Baby Dang was murdered? Yes. This is starting to get more complicated. Okay, let's deduce the situation here. The will specifies clearly that Banawadi Palace was not to be sold. So Prothon leased it to a private business college for many years. That means he wouldn't get anything from Baby Dang's death, would he? Correct. Had Baby Dang been alive, Profan would have benefited more. Happy birthday, Mon! I have a present for you. Ta-da! You like it? I spent the whole day looking nearly all over town for it. Dora de Mon! <laughs> wow. You're such a nerd. But... Thanks anyway. Again... Instead of a thank you, please have dinner with me. Don't say no. I already booked a table. I bet you'll like it a lot. The mashed potatoes there are so damn good. And it won the Iron Chef Award three years in a row. Must be the wind. But... 
How come there's wind in this room? How did you find me? I followed your smell. Not going to your birthday dinner? I wouldn't have been here then. With you. Yeah, right. Can I... ask you something? When you were alive... did you... have a girlfriend? I don't remember. It was a long time ago. Let me guess. You were... good looking? And tons of girls queued up for you. But you're so sensitive, no girls would be able to stand you, right? Cheeky girl. That smack on the head would do you good. How did you hit on a girl in those days? No cell phones, no internet. Well, you called her house number. Or wrote her letters. Sometimes, it would take a few months to get a reply. She could have married someone else already. But, it was exciting. You wrote a letter and wait in anticipation whether she'd write back. Some women would sprinkle her favorite perfume or powder into the letter. And so when the guy would open it, he'd smell her. It was romantic. Did you... did you do it? Do what? Write letters to your girlfriend? I told you. I don't really remember. Long time ago. After that, the spirit of the mysterious woman made spooky noise from behind the wall. As if she was trying to tell us something. <coughs> We're trying to find the real killer. Please, help us. This used to be the library of Banawadi Palace. When I was a student, it was still in use. But it was closed along with the college. In my time, there was a wall separating the two sides of this room. Now it's become one big hall. At the far end was the librarian's office. And over there was a shelf full of antique books. Let's split up. I'll cover the present day library. You do the old one. Call me if you find anything. Let's go. Okay.
Partner! I found something! What is it? Mademoiselle Aditi! What are you doing in here? <laughs> You've broken the rules so many times. But this is the most serious. If your parents were still around, I would have to call them here. I'm sorry, but I have to punish you by grounding you in the room of repentance for one day and for one night. Partner? Are you in there? Come up here. I want to talk to you. I don't think I can. There's a wall here. In the past, I mean. I found something in this book. You should take a look. I'll toss it over the wall. Make sure you catch it. My name is Warren Art Bataille. I'm writing this diary to serve as evidence. The diary recorded the affair between Miss Warren you Art and Mr. Buffon. They're gonna come Please after me if you do don't this. give me the money Please now! Stop I need that money! Oh, Buffon forced her to steal the princess's <laughs> money to pay off his gambling debts. I will talk it over with him tonight. If he still refuses to own up, I will hand this diary to the princess, and the whole truth will come out. I get it now. Masseur! Open the door! Come on, let me out! Sorry. I, I forgot about you. Something terrible has happened.
come on. Where are you? I called you a dozen times. I'm so sad. No one loves me. I want to talk to you. I'll wait at the same place. Press it. Um. Mm. Oh. Come on. Pass the ball. Mm. What's wrong? You screamed like someone squeezing your balls. I just saw... I saw... 
A popcorn ghost. A popcorn ghost? Are you high or what? Jeez. Shut up! This ashen face in the microwave. Uh, the boils were oozing, and suddenly they burst open like popcorn. Like this, baby? <laughs> Baby, where are you going? Come on, I love you. I love you. Love you. The next morning, Master Roddy, half crazed, confessed everything to the police. He said he preferred prison to the most horrifying thing that he saw the previous night. Mon? Are you happy now? Witch Hunter? Mon, I'm sorry. Oh yeah? I know. I did something terrible to Ant. I never thought it would get so out of control and blow up into something like this. After she died, I began to hallucinate. I kept seeing Ant hanging herself over and over day and night I'm losing my mind Mon, you don't have to forgive me but I should say sorry to you Aunt would want me to do that She loved you so much Aunt wasn't born to know happiness. But for a brief period in her life, she believed she'd found true love. Before it turned into a nightmare. During that period, Aunt found real happiness in her own private world. The world that everyone condemned as silly, naive, and promiscuous. But she didn't care.
Come on. Thank you. You are the only friend I ever had in my life. Goodbye. At that moment, I smelled Aunt's favorite perfume. The smell of clear-eyed despair. I felt her presence coming to say goodbye. For the last time. Where do we go after death? Nowhere. The spirits remain where they're familiar with until the time comes. Like us? Yes. Like both of us. Let us see. What do we have at this point? First, the demon who tried to stop us was Mr. Profan. He didn't want us to find out about something. The Knight Warnart confronted Profan in the library and threatened to tell the princess about the embezzlement. She was strangled to death. Profan covered up his crime by hiding the body in the wall and putting bricks over it. The building was being renovated, so no one took notice. That's how Miss Warnart disappeared without a trace. Wait. Something doesn't add up. You mean, maybe she wasn't strangled to death? No. Of course. She was strangled. But Perfon didn't do it. Weeper! What the hell have you done? The slut. She deserved this. Profan's ghost tried to stop us because he didn't want us to expose the murder committed by his wife. Yeah. In this regard, I guess he wasn't such an asshole of a husband after all. Now let's deduce the next point. Dr. Sonner and Profan conspired to steal the princess's wealth. Dr. Sonner gave her sodium theopentol. Then they tricked her to sign a will that gave everything to Baby Dang, with Dr. Sonner being named the caretaker. After the princess's death, the will was opened, and Dr. Sonner knew he had been double-crossed. Profan had given the princess another will to sign. That will named Profan as the executor of the estate. We agreed to split it up, you liar! You thief! Back off, Doc. I have evidence that can ruin you. If the police see these prescriptions, you're finished. Get the hell out of this place and don't ever come back! Now! Senior, I think I know who the real murderer was. Do you? Who is it? I need to ask you some questions first. I told you once that I smelled gunpowder while we were at the pool. I thought it had something to do with the princess's murder. But it was another murder that happened 20 years later. The murder victim was you, wasn't it? Spirits lose parts of their memories. They can't remember how they died. Now I... 
I remember. I was a distant relative to Jeet, the accused gardener. This case always troubled me. I sneaked in here one night to look at the crime scene. I died not knowing who killed me, so my spirit has wandered the building for 30 years trying to find the killer. So that's what happened. Senior. Senior? Sister Hannah. Baby Dang. My time has come. Where did you find it? This book was my birthday present when I turned six years old. It was the only happiness in my forgettable childhood. Princess Banawadi was a cruel person. In public, she treated me with mercy. In private, she beat me and tortured me. She locked me in a closet. I only had this book to keep me company. I read it over and over. The more I read it, the more I saw the princess as the witch in the book. My hatred for her grew, fueled by my childish imagination. One night, the princess was about to lock me up again. I ran away to the pool. You brat! You can't hide from me! I'll beat you when I find you! <laughs> Baby Ding! Baby Dang, help me! Baby Dang, help me! I remained in shock for years when I turned 12. I decided to run away. I wandered about until I found a new life. Th 
through the mercy of God. I took my vows and changed my name to Sister Hannah. I became the owner of Banawari Palace as stated in the will. I donated the building to the church to redeem my sins. Twenty years later, I was chosen as Mother Superior of this convent. Here at my old home. Thanks be to God. I don't have to run away anymore. Sister Hannah! Don't be frightened. It's just a tranquilizer. Dr. Sonner? I just don't want her to hear what the two of us are going to talk about. You don't have heart disease? <laughs> My heart's fine. I like you a lot. You remind me of my daughter so much. Baby Dang? Is Baby Dang your daughter? Yes. But I don't want her to know that I'm her real father. I've done terrible things. And she's the last beautiful thing in my long and ugly life. What? The princess you have was a, wife? a very possessive woman. And a child on the way? When she found out that I already Nothing had a, a wife, liar, you two -tiny nurse sneak. was pregnant. Bastard. The princess gave me an ultimatum. Choose one. Either your wife or your child. Or I'll destroy your career and your family, you understand? I was so scared. She was powerful and could do what she threatened to. I chose my daughter. I injected a drug that made my wife's heart stop after she gave birth to the baby. That night, when I arrived, I saw Baby Dang with a bloody shovel in her hand, frozen in a state of shock. Stay here and don't go anywhere. If they ask, say you were sleeping. Tell them you don't know anything. After I left the palace, I tried to find out what had happened to Baby Dang. When I learned that she became a nun in a convent, I was greatly relieved. I assumed that the secret of the case would remain hidden from the world for eternity. But one day, a college student came to see me and asked about the case. He was getting close to knowing the existence of Baby Dang. I decided to protect my daughter by following him back to the pool. I thought that it was all over finally. I never thought that 30 years later I'd have to come out to save my girl again. From a little brat like you. Ah, come here, come here. Hey. Over here, let's ah. go. Hey, let me go. Ah. Ah. An accident, Where of course. Doing? A curious girl sneaks up to the let bell tower go. and falls to her death. Ah. 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 Let me go. Go! Let me now, go! Jump! Let me go! I said jump! No! Help Will me! you jump? Or should I pull the trigger and push you off? You little brat! Back heal him quick! Jump! I hate it when people call me a little brat. Take this! Son of a bitch! Uh. 
Senior. We can touch each other now. Every rule has an exception. You just die. You. Doctor? I smelled the spirit of the nurse, the doctor's wife. She'd been waiting patiently for 50 years. And now the wait was over. Senior? Why is your scent getting weaker? Everybody has a limited time. Spirits too. When I know the truth about myself, it's time I'll be gone forever. Senior! Don't go, please! Don't go! Senior! We belong in different worlds. Sooner or later, I'll have to go. All I want you to know is... You're my best memory... in my life after death. Don't cry. Take good care of yourself... after I'm gone. Senior, don't leave me now! <laughs> Goodbye, partner. Don't go. Senior, don't go. Senior, please don't go. Senior, come back. 
come back. After 53 years, the murder file of Princess Banawadi Razmi was reopened. Based on the confession of Mother Superior Hannah, Jeet was declared innocent. All the blames unjustly put on him were cleared. From then on, his spirit never came back again. As for Hannah, her crime was ruled intentional wrongdoing. And the case's statute of limitations had expired. Still, she vowed to devote herself to the service of God in the Carmelite convent, turning her back to the world for the rest of her life. The skeleton inside the wall matched the DNA for Miss Warnart. After that, no one heard any sound coming from the wall again. Mademoiselle Aditi. Good luck. May God bless you. Goodbye, Masur Audrey. Senior hasn't returned since. He disappeared just as mysteriously as when he came. As if he never existed. Senior. Where are you? Dear Senior, you told me that writing letters was very romantic. I've never written one before. I don't know what to write. Well, I miss you. When will you come back to hang out with me again? I'll let you smack my head, all right? <laughs> Faithfully, your partner. The photo studio has been here for decades, but was recently sold to a real estate developer. The building is about to be demolished to make way for the construction of a condominium, prompting conservationists to stage a protest. We now go live to talk to some of the protesters. For all the time we've been partners, that was the first time I saw a senior. The photos seemed to be smiling at me from the distant past. A photo studio is where the good memories of the past generations remain alive. Some in these pictures no longer have the same smile that they once had. Some became nothing but ashes. But here, they're preserved in time and eternity.
See you around, partner. I'm not afraid.